Oh, there you go. I was just looking for you. Hi, guys. We're at the Photogenic Studio shooting a video for the brand new Marcus Nan album. Shooting four videos. And um, we got exotic basses and guitars, which actually are on the album. And I'm going to show you where they're sleeping right now. They're taking a little nap over this corner here. They're laying down, getting ready for the next shoot. Taking a little nap. The basses, and you have the guitars taking a nap too. Yeah, they're getting ready for the next shoot because it's a rocking song. Um, hopefully, the video will be out by fall, I guess. And um, we'll talk to you later on about more information. Look at that, an RC pedal. Oh, look at that. And some familiar toys. Good old Strat, which was used on the album too. And then Marcus has a setup over here with some exotic. Look at that. Marcus. Yeah. Tell me the pedal. Hello. That's, yeah. that's Marcus Nan. How you doing? The artist. Well, I, you know, I've um, I've used the greatest compressor, in my opinion, is uh, is that little guy right there, and uh, I've used it for, for ages, and uh, you know, I use the EP booster as well uh, on my electric setup. Sometimes use that even on acoustic setup if you need a boost or you know you need a you know a lift you know for a solo or something like that. Love the pedals. I also have uh, an, an electric um, uh, board uh, with an AC booster on it as well. The AC booster. Tone. The neck feels really good. I like it. Kind of fatty, good sounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. The finish is killer. Uh -huh. it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Nice and stuff. I love it. I think I can take pretty damn good pictures. Exotic boys. Good right. action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it looks, yeah, it maybe. Out, yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna shoot the uh, next video, Perfect World. This is the bass that um, was on the album. So um, eventually we'll be shooting this. See a little bit. You guys got to come over and got to hang out with us. Mm -hmm. And thanks for bringing the guitars. Yeah. That, you know, I really yeah. enjoyed playing the guitars. I, I know the pedals well. I've known them for a long time. But this is the first time I've actually played the guitars. Mm. And it won't be the last. Okay. I, I really yeah. like them. I like the way they look. Cool, cool, cool. I like the way they feel. Oh. I, I really like them. Yeah. They fit in a club. They fit in the stadium. It's yeah. actually perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so sonically. 
it works. What's particularly you liked about it? Well, I liked, um, I liked the, the way, you know, we plugged it into that um, AC30, mm -hmm. just low with no, you know, mm -hmm. basically no volume mm -hmm. and just, you know, and uh, it immediately sounded good. It had a ring to it, it had a chime to it. Mm. Uh, I like the way it felt. It feels like it's a precision instrument um, oh, okay. because I, I'm used to, I play strats and, you know, and uh, some of my strats are a little older, oh. some of them the reissues, and they don't feel like, I, I love them because they sound great and, and they, you know, they always will. But they don't feel as precise as these guitars. Oh. These these feel very precisely yeah. made, it's really... and the setup is is you know, and the and the way they feel the play yeah. is very yeah. precise. Really. So I like that. Really. Really. So you feel the same. Well, I'm a big, I'm, I'm, you, know, I'm, you know me. Yeah. I'm a big champion for a lot of years now. <laughs> You've been using bass, these bases for oh since ni uh, 2009, yeah. and it just it sounds absolutely amazing on the album, which we use on the record, and uh, for the live shows, which different bands I play with and it's just been absolutely fantastic mm. still mm. I'm still using them mm. you know so yeah. we just thought uh, we bring them all shooting the video uh -huh. you know for Marcus's right. new, yeah. solo, new solo album and right. uh, right. international artist so we, you know we, we, yeah. we're bringing all the links together and yeah. one big happy family yeah. it's nice so, well, so well, tell us about uh, this project and uh, in, in you or maybe it's no, right, yeah. right. Well, this is this is uh, it's an album called Time and Tide Wait for No Man. Mm. Uh, it's a solo album that I that I produced mm -hmm. and uh, and wrote most of the songs. Car Carmine and I did some co-writing oh, on it as well. Okay. Um, and uh, it is uh, it's sort of a a culmination of all my influences uh, mm. from the rock stuff to the you know to the classic rock stuff to the flamenco influence, the acoustic and folk influence, and the world music influence. Um, so it, I, I try to mix all those styles together and come out in a natural way and, and also lyrically um, I try to do something that people may find a little bit of themselves in the lyrics. It's about certain aspects of life and things like that. Mm. So I had a lot of fun produ you know, in the production with the guitars. Um, I used a lot more than any other pedal on the record, I used the, uh, the compressor, the um, Compressor. The SP compressor, right? And sometimes I'd I'd create the pads and stuff instead of using keys. It's good to do that with guitar because you get sort of a a uh, a metallic aspect to the to the pads, you know. Yeah. So I'd use that compressor. I'd really heavily compress so you get a lot of sustain, and then put it through a series of delays and and some modulation and stuff like that. So I found that really gave a good a good texture to everything, you know. Mm. So uh, I, I really got my, my usage out of that pedal on the record, more than anything I used, I think. Cool. Yeah. Um, so what, what else you use uh, from the Exotic? I, I use the AC booster, because mm -hmm. um, I like the clean, the, it's a very clean boost. Uh, I also use the EP booster. Mm. Uh, I find that sometimes the EP booster, you can pretty, pretty much, a lot of different, you know, any amp will take it, right? Any tube amp mm -hmm. will take mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it sort of brings out the best in, in, in certain, you know, in, in the amps generally. So I used that, um, and then I was playing around with, I think it's SL, oh, okay. the SL yeah, drive. Yeah. drive, yeah. Because I'm, I'm a big Flexi fan, and you know, oh, I, I really enjoyed that okay. too, so yeah. Wow, yeah. cool. Um, we didn't know you were such a big executive fan. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, well, I think, I, I find that I don't speak to, there are not many guitarists I speak to that don't use the the compressor. Mm, mm. I mean, m most guitars I, I and the EP booster. Most guitars I know have that on the board. <laughs> it's become right. a staple. It goes into the tuner, into the EP booster or, or, or the compressor. Because right. even when even with a clean sound, you can dial it until it gives you a really nice sustain. Mm. You know, mm, good. It's very so. surprising how many people actually use exotic equipment. That yeah. you, you know, we really, we really don't know. There's, there's many people out there. Yeah, we, the planet. We, we actually surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you are right. Yeah. You know, in Europe, it's big as well. I mean, yeah. in, in yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what how the distribution or anything is in in Spain, but I know everybody knows those pedals in Spain, and, and they're sort of like you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, coveted or no? What's the word I'm looking for? The 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 you know they're just well respected pedals. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Wow. So you're from Spain. I grew up in Spain. Oh. I'm half Indian and half English, yeah. and I grew up in Spain. So that's why a lot of the music has that, you know, those influences. Yeah. You can sort of hear them in the music. Sounds very really exotic to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 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 that's good. <laughs>
<laughs> he's dancing. You see him behind the camera. He's, saying, he's dancing away back there. <laughs> Where can we get the information? Uh, like in your website? Or yes, you can. Uh, yeah. My website's marcusnand.com. Mm. Um, these days, as you know, most of the stuff, most of the marketing and the promotion we do is through YouTube and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So Marcus Nand 16 mm. is the YouTube channel. Okay. The whole album's on there. Uh, I do videos from, uh, I, I do, you know, the video today obviously mm -hmm. is, a, is a big production. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm sort of doing smaller videos, playing the songs as they were written, um, just very basic and, and people seem to like that. Um, so uh, there's a lot of different, you know, different stuff on there, different versions of the, th of the songs and stuff. We're trying, so, to, we're trying to take it to the bigger level. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Bigger level and small level. All <laughs> levels, all levels are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> now, he, 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 has, he had, this is the first time actually doing a full, we did four songs, video, and it was very important to do this and, and yeah. keep on following it up with more stuff. And the album has so much kinds of stuff on it. I mean, he did a great job on it, mm. really producing it. Thank you, oh, Carmine. Kind of Thank you, sir. You're welcome, brother. <laughs> I got some good help, too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's We're good. pretty much it. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, great. It was Thank such a pleasure. So Thank you Thank very you. much to both of you for coming. Mm -hmm. I'm you really later. glad you did. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>